A very good morning to all. We want to welcome Chief Guest, Ms. Michelle Vidobi, Managing Director, Mr. Tomish Ferreira, Director of Academics, which is Yasara Palmarachi, Head of Social Sciences, Mrs. Kimmy Jayakrama, staff, and everyone else present here today to share with us the wonders of the Australian culture. So before we begin, let me introduce my team. So this is Zara, this is Shanara, this is Ali, Sonaki, this is Daruni, Meritma, Jaini, and Mithar. So they will be um, taking on presentation after me. I just want to let you all know that by the end of this presentation, we're going to have a small pop quiz, which is going to be pretty fun, so please go, pay close attention. Um, so I'm Indrima Rajapaksha and I will be starting off today's presentation with the history and government of Australia. Well, we must understand that there were people living in Australia way before the aboriginal state. Did you all know that? So evidence found show that these people not only belong to Homo sapiens sapiens but also to other closer primates that lived before them. So one of the first uh, evidence found showing intelligent life dates back to 65,000 years to the magic baby tools found in Northern Australia, in the magic baby caves. So these are pieces, these are pieces of stone that have been cut and shaped to be used as tools, for example, to cut up flesh or to cut up vegetation. And um, around the Majibay Bay Caves, paintings have also been found, uh, also been found by uh, archaeologists which show that these people were capable of painting their ideas and experiences. The government of Australia. Wow, that's such a interesting topic. Okay, um, so I just want to say there are three branches um, in the Australian government. So first of all, we have the parliament, the executive, and finally the judiciary. So we have to understand that Australia is a constitutional monarchy, which means that it is ruled by a monarch family and the uh, leadership is passed down from generation to generation. And right now, the king of Australia is King Charles II. The third, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, like I said before, it's divided into three segments the uh, parliament, the executive, and the judiciary. So, the, the prime minister and the cabinet are divided into their own segments with other minor uh, ministers. So, I'll show you a few pictures of. Um, some of the people that are in Australia. So this is King Charles III, King of Australia currently. This is David Hurley, Governor General of Australia. And finally, Anthony Albany, Prime Minister of Australia. So you can see that King Charles III belongs to belong the Parliament, David Hurley also belongs to Parliament, and Anthony Albany belongs to the executive. And I also mentioned the tradition. Yes. So this is actually where the laws happen. Uh, the laws are made for interaction. So now I would like to um, hand over the presentation to the Geography. So the basics, like the Australian area, it is uh, in the southern hemisphere. It, uh, it takes about 10 hours to reach Melbourne. It is so large that it takes about 3 hours to reach Melbourne once you enter the Australian borders um, about Australia. So it has 6 states. It um, is Western Australia, Wales, Victoria, and then it has Australian capital is located in the Great Victorian Desert. Um, and the Australia's longest river, the longest river system is located in the centre, which is the driest and the lowest and the driest. I move on to the geographical features. I would like to point out um, two of the geographical features are the Great Valley region, the Great Park in uh, Queensland and extends all the way to Victoria and has been in to be a part of the Great Valley. Um, the Great Valley range is not just its several mountain ranges uh, and some of the examples are Australian Alps. Um, even Australia's tallest mountain uh, is located within the Australian Alps. Um, the Great Valley Reef uh, it is also um, predictive of the major release of Hong Kong. Um, in a fun fact about the Great Valley Reef is that it is the only living thing that is visible from space. Only there are nine, but the, the sacred place and rock for the original people, um, they are introduced to by Bhutu, Mutunima. Um, she, uh, so she mentioned about the origin of the original people. They, uh, the owners of this national park are called the Anand people. Uh, they are the owners of the land and the uh, So this sandstone monolith is significant for its uh, red glow when the light strikes. Okay, so the climate tends to differ. 
uh, from the geography uh, regions. Uh, so the, since Australia is occupied mainly by deserts, the central and distant plateau tends to have a hot desert climate. The east and southeast coast has an oceanic climate. The northern coast has a monsoon climate, and the north, uh, sorry, the southwest coast has a warm Mediterranean climate. So the four seasons, Australia has four seasons, unlike Sri Lanka that has just one season or the winter of the year. Uh, it starts out with summer from December to February, autumn from March to May, and winter from June to August, spring from September to November. To places to visit, uh, more fun, I guess. Uh, so I'll start off with Melbourne, since the world is part of the public library, and because we can have the library in work, the highlight of the library is the art of the museum, which is the
female artist. Uh, the main female artist you all might know is Miss Bilbi Kalimona. Uh, there are reality shows that bring up upcoming talents to the industry like uh, starting from pop star, Australian Idol, X Factor and The Voice. Since everyone here except from these artists, uh, can you name any Australian artists, music, singers, musicians you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, those are the main uh, Australian singers, musicians that took over the this, uh, this decade. So let's move on to the dance in Australian culture. Just yeah. so interesting that I say. <laughs> Uh, so in just dance, uh, this is like Australian massive city has Aboriginal culture. So in this era, they mainly perform these dances in funerals uh, and festivals, like uh, walking around, running around, and fire. And then they have a lot of costumes for them and hard footwear. Culture, uh, in ballrooms including tango, uh, foxtrot and balls. In the 18th century, modern dance culture began. So this is a picture of David Helbert. So uh, this is a ballad actually, it is a nice ballad. And this is the main ballad even after this day they are performing uh, from this modern dance culture from 20th century. So, uh, okay, so I just tell, yeah, just go to this bush dance and if you guys can, please let's join in our hands and dance this together since everyone's here. <laughs> Oh, what's your name? 
Oh, hi, wow, yours too. Thank you. Okay, anyways, I'll probably catch you later then. Oh, by the way, we're having a Bobby fight cocktail today and we had our wet drink to join. I would give you my number and you can call me. Um, it's actually, um, I have to get permission from my mother before I come. Oh, uh, your mom's here? Uh, no, she's in Sri Lanka, but I have to get permission from her because I'm still small. Me, you're 19. Are you sure you need to get permission from your mom? I don't think my parents even know where I'm at right now. Actually, I should get permission from you. Okay, that's alright. I'm just dropping my stuff. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> should we probably get stuff? Did you make her very much a little room? Anxious? Where you want you to make sense of what just happened. Want you to make new friends. This feels like a good opportunity, doesn't it? I should think so. Hey girl, mom sounds like a great idea. I should. Hey, what's up, Andrea? I should come and say that I think voice message. Hey, it's little me, so my dog will be six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm getting caught up. Are you down? Um, I think uh, I'll be able to come and get permission from my mom. But it's great. Okay, so I'll come to my right by now. So, right. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'll come and see you. Bye. Bye. Having taken permission, it is now Sito's time to make her way. Oh hi, I know it's a movie Barbie thing. Oh no, Sydney, I'm sorry. Alright, I thought it was uh, you all were going to a like, theatre and you gonna watch the movie? No, it's just a Barbie thing. I hope you enjoy it though. Yeah, I enjoy it. Anyways, don't worry, we're always there for you. Yeah, I'm just getting used to this culture, so I don't think that I would feel comfortable today itself. But eventually I will get used to it. Just <laughs> so, because as you know, often when we live in our home country, we don't often study our home country that much. My background, given that you learned a lot about the culture of Australia there, my great-great-grandmother was actually Indigenous, so I have Indigenous heritage. And my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather was actually on the first fleet. So I'm a little bit conflicted because I have Indigenous heritage and I have uh, First Fleet heritage. Now, my grandfather wasn't uh, a soldier or running the boats, he was actually a convict. So a lot of Australians have a convict heritage. So some people were brought out from the UK for stealing very small things like a loaf of bread or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, my grandfather was a real criminal. He was actually sentenced to be hung for violent highway robbery. Um, thankfully, the generations coming have uh, done a lot better than him. <laughs> and he was really lucky. The judge actually commuted his sentence to life in Australia. And if that judge all those generations ago hadn't made that decision, I wouldn't be here today. So it's interesting when we look at our history. And I thought the presentations today were really, really good. It covered, it was great to see the Indigenous history covered because when I was growing up, often we just talked about white settlement. And we didn't even say it was colonisation, but we didn't even talk about the wars that took place against the uh, Indigenous people of Australia. So at least now my children have learned the real history of Australia and they know where we come from. Uh, Australia Day was mentioned and sometimes the Indigenous population actually call it pause for all that.